What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and not only that, a war recap video to week two. CWL invite. As you guys see it right there on your screen, Forge from Steel getting smashed uh, by Marshall's Nation. Uh, they took a five star victory from us. Uh, the final was 107 to 112. Was still a close war towards the end, uh, but we did have an early dip fail uh, very early on into the war, which didn't put us in the best situation. And we were able to clear. We were able to clear four of their five Town Hall 11s, which, believe it or not, was an improvement from week one. Uh, but their number three got away from us. Uh, we did have an 11v11 attempt on it uh, that did not go our way. But there it, there it is right there. We had three dip fails and one 11v11 attempt uh, that ended up in a fail. And you look at... Uh, their Town Hall 11s, uh, they only had one dip fail, 97%. I mean, ours were close as well. Uh, we had a 98, 96, just a few attacks that did not go our way as far as the 11v10 dips. Uh, big improvement, though, on the 10v11 game. Shout out to all those guys, uh, our 10v11 guys. And we still picked up four 10v10s this war. Uh, they had five 10v10s. And a big shout out to Marshall's Nation's Town Hall 9s. I remember how much they wrecked it back in Premiere in Season 2. And they're still going strong. I believe they cleared our 9s in about four, three to four hours. Four hours tops, our 9s were cleared. They had all kinds of scouts. Uh, so Marshall's Nation 9s are definitely uh, OP to say the least. Uh, definitely some things we do have to improve on this war. Uh, all in all, it was a very good war. It, it's always good going against these guys. Uh, you know, Marshall's Nation being the champions of CWO Premier, uh, moving up to Invite, and they are just smashing clans uh, left and right right now. Big shout out to them. It was a very, very fun war. Uh, granted, it was a five-star loss. Uh, definitely some things to learn on going forward, uh, but very, very optimistic. And with that, I do have some amazing attacks to show you guys. Some amazing attacks. Uh, let me see. We're going to go down here to... Where's, where's my little notes here? We're going to go down to number 29. We got Fabi coming in here. Now, some people... Some people specialize, you know, in carpentry, you know, some, some people specialize in, you know, singing, songwriting, you know, different types of artists, things like that. Fabi specializes in wrecking bases. Uh, he has mastered the art of base wrecking, as you guys are going to see right here, doing it with none, none other than the HGHB in an invite match. He saw this base and said, why not? Uh, so he's coming in here at about 10 o'clock. Uh, with his giants, he's got his four healers down, raging them up. Initially, he wanted them to target uh, the, this archer tower compartment. They weren't having it, though. They started beating on the wall. So he quickly adjusted. And luckily, the bowlers end up routing in along with the queen. Uh, King is doing a little mini kiwi walk down here. Uh, that was not intentional, but ends up working out very, very well. Uh, there is a hound in the CC. There goes the second rage. And you guys see he has two heal and 10 hogs in this army composition uh so just making it making his way through the core here uh, he's going to be locking on to the enemy heroes as they go down pups are about gone i went ahead and healed his kill squad uh, to get those bowlers healed up and you'll see uh has a few hogs coming in here to flank that uh to get that tesla on the outside of the wall already has wizards cleaning up all this trash along the edges and Queen still has her ability as well. Still a wizard. Still seven hogs in a heal spell. Guys, there's nothing left of this base. Uh, there's no other way to say it. Uh, we have a couple ADs. Just a few more point defenses down there at the bottom. Still has giants up as well. And again, look down at the troop bar, guys. Very, very patient. Uh, you know, going, you know, going back to old meta. And using HGHB, I could not believe it. Uh, we, we were on voice uh, planning out this attack. And when he said he wanted to do HGHB, I mean, our jaws just dropped. And it ended up working out very, very well. As you guys see, all kinds of swag. Still has six hogs. Where are they going to come from? They're going to come from 12 o'clock with the heel. Very, very nicely done. And swagging the Archer Queen ability. Very, very impressive attack. 
uh, from none other than Fabi, guys. Completely smashing bases. Absolutely love that attack. We're going to jump up here uh, to some Town Hall 10 act. So this is the base right here. Uh, this is actually a hit that I did, uh, taking out number 22. This was their lowest Town Hall 10 on the map. Uh, and doing it with Clone Bone. And believe it or not, this was a fresh hit. Uh, like I said, our Town Hall 9s did not perform uh, like they have been lately. So we weren't left with a, a, that many scouts. So we had other bases that we decided we wanted them to scout. So we went ahead and made the decision to hit this base fresh, and it worked out in our favor. So we had Queen over at 3 o'clock uh, to get that trash out of the way and get that air defense. King uh, funneling up at 12 o'clock, heading down to 9. Dragons all coming in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rage them up as they make their way into the base. We got five loons going to be targeting this air defense right there. Uh, going to drop a haste down for them. And they're soaking up air traps as well, getting that air defense out of the way. Uh, once they're in the core, we go ahead and drop another rage. As they're making way through the base, there goes the, the clone Lalo uh, over there at 9 o'clock. Um, and, and one other thing that I wanted to mention about the uh, clone bone is, remember, your clone, the, the balloon that you're cloning is a level 7 balloon. So with this level 2 uh, clone spell, we get 5 more level 7 uh, balloons wrecking through the base uh, that's max level at Town Hall 11. So very, very powerful attack right now, you guys. Uh, give it a try. If you don't believe me, uh, this attack is making its way into all uh, sorts of recaps. Um, and for good reason. It is just wrecking bases on the right uh, layout. So that was me getting another 10v10 uh, in Cedarwill Invite. Uh, so shout out to me for that base and thank you uh, all you guys uh, for helping out with the plan as well We did have quite a few guys on voice uh, So here we have number we have number 19 uh, We got Scarface doing nothing but good things lately uh, Scarface really been wrecking bases gonna be doing this uh, with a CB Lalo uh, we'll go ahead and see how he breaks this base down uh, Queen up there at 3 o'clock uh, obviously her target is going to be taking out uh, that air defense, gets a nice Tesla right there at 3 o'clock as well. Uh, this one was a cleanup, so there were a couple things that were adjusted uh, to grab this 3 star from the previous attack. I believe the CB is going to be coming in at about 6 o'clock. Uh, so there goes the Queen, uh, just taking out all that trash right there. And here, okay, here comes the Golem. Yeah, down there at about 6 o'clock. Uh, Scarface is bringing uh, eight bowlers along to this attack. Nice rock skip right there. Also take, uh, uh, getting some damage off on that mortar as well. So here comes the bowlers uh, trimming all this trash. Just have a wizard down there on the barrack as well. Jump spell over the bomb tower followed up by a rage. Here comes the enemy CC being a hound loon. Uh, does have a poison for the enemy loon to take that out. And the Hound is just going to be flying around this base. Uh, as we saw, he already sued his AQ uh, over at 3 o'clock. Dropped a couple loons to get that Tesla outside that wall just to help with uh, the loon pathing. Okay, so here comes his Camp Hound and CC Hound coming in at about 8 and 10 o'clock. Uh, going to be making their way to that one air defense. So he has a lot of tanking going through this base. Uh, drops a nice rage to get that uh, first Inferno Tower out of the way. Still has two more haste spells as well uh, to deploy and a couple more balloons. So cannon goes down. Uh, they're going to be targeting this Archer Tower directly or that Inferno Tower directly once the Archer Tower went down. There it goes. And just collapsed this base pretty much from all angles. Uh, very, very nice attack. Very, very well executed executed as well uh scarface even swagging a haste uh so i mean really dissected this base and shout out to him uh he's been doing nothing but good things lately grabbing uh town hall 10 triple this war as well okay now we're gonna head up we have our town hall 11 dip 
fail cleaner. Uh, no one other than Masaki. He did 10v10 six pack this war, you guys. Uh, we have just an incredible uh, queen charge Lala that we're going to see on this base right here. Keep in mind, guys, this base was dip failed by a Town Hall 11. Uh, Masaki going to come in here and clean that up. Baby drag down there at six o'clock just getting rid of all that trash as he does want his queen to walk up also has nine wall breakers uh in this army comp as well uh people are calling people are calling masaki uh the 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 non-time fill uh version of uh time fill tony except he doesn't time fill guys uh bringing nine wall breakers to this raid uh already opened up the first uh, compartment right there has a nice rage as he is going to be engaging quite a few point defenses as well as the enemy queen as well. Poison down to slow her down. Uh, also gets the loon inside that poison as well. Uh, does have a minion working at about 9 o'clock and this charge is just going to keep on cruising uh goes ahead and drops on another rage drops a minion to help clean up with those pups uh i'm sorry guys masaki is just smashing bases this guy since he has joined he is damn near perfect at this point in time uh just wrecking bases uh already has the second layer wall break um or second second layer wall break opened up uh that compartment leading to both of those air defenses uh is taking some damage uh from those two archer towers takes out the first one after the spell factory queen is going to do a little roundabout and start beating on that archer tower pops ability to get the second ad down on this charge and here comes the hound loon portion uh starting off at about 11 o'clock going right over that inferno tower uh Dropped a nice haste right there to speed all those loons up. Has another haste uh, to take out those two archer towers. All those loons collapsing on the third uh, air defense. Uh, here we have the haste down at 3 o'clock. Uh, Hound doing an amazing job tanking. It is still up right now. So all four air defenses down at this time. Nice heal spell uh, healing up those loons before they come into the uh, Inferno Tower range. Queen is going to take it out just in time uh, on that charge right there. And he has all kinds of pups and minions completely wrecking that base, guys. An amazing queen charge. Uh, Lalo uh, Masaki. Wow. That guy is just wrecking bases, guys. Very happy uh, that he joined and got another 10v10 six-pack uh, this war. I did want to show a really nice hit right here on Jacob. Definitely want to give uh, our 10v11 action some love as well. Uh, we all know how difficult uh, 10v11 has been as of late. So Jacob is going uh, to be taking out this base and going to be getting nice percentage as well. Uh, just starting off, uh, this is going to be a bowler smash. Uh, does have a few loons and baby drag down there at 6 o'clock. Uh, take out some defenses and to get some good percentage as well. Uh, that bowler smash, uh, that golem uh, bowler kill squad pretty much took out damn near that entire compartment up there at the top or at the upper left hand side of the base already at 24 percent guys before his main kill squad uh comes in here has a jump leading everything in uh to the base still has two rages and a freeze spell to deploy as well so he catches when he drops the freeze he gets the inferno tower and he freezes that uh enemy cc as well just incredible value uh from that freeze spell uh, still has the Archer Queen uh, ability in the bag as well. She's going to go ahead and take that jump, guys. She's already locking on to the Town Hall. All kinds of bowlers up. Already at 50% right there. 54%. And this attack is still going. Uh, getting amazing value from how wide, you know, how open these compartments are. And still has the AQ ability, guys. So just really wrecked uh, this base. And this was later in the war, too. Like I said, we had some chances throughout the war uh, to pull ahead, uh, but Marshall's Nation really brought it. But regardless, an incredible attack from Jacob getting 61% uh, on that 10v11. But all in all, as you guys saw, 
Uh, this really was an incredible war. Uh, shout out to everybody on Forge from Steel. Uh, we definitely have a tough matchup in week three where we're going to be taking on Bada Bing Clan. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that war. And big shout out to everybody in Marshall's Nation. Like I've always said, we know quite a few of the guys over there. And great group of guys. Uh, again, they are a clan based out of France. And just big shout out to them. They really brought it. Look out for Marshall's Nation in invite. They are 2-0. and Fortune Steel uh, with our first loss uh, coming in week two brings our record to 1-1. One one. Uh, but definitely stay tuned to the channel for more footage coming your, uh, your guys' way. Uh, CWL action. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.